Okay. We are back. We just got that free ship. Uh, we have finished factions for Free Star Collective and Ryujin. Uh, next, we could do UC to get that faction done and then save it for uh, save the last faction for the Crimson Fleet. A long range jump ship for exploration. That's a good way to do it. Mission board. Can I kill the Crimson Fleet and not get in trouble? Or should I finish the goddamn Crimson Fleet storyline before I start killing them? Because I technically have joined the Crimson Fleet. So. Love being on your mom's so while she's not here. Massage chair. Ooh. Ooh la la. All right. So I just I just got a bunch more missions. Uh, before we do anything, we will do UC first. Delivering the devils. We'll do the UC storyline first. I'm trying to get all the, uh, I want to get all the factions done before I start focusing on the main story again. Because I think the next time we focus on the main story, we can kind of have that be the main focus. And then, and then once we're at like the point of no return, we'll clean up and do a bunch of other stuff, you know? Weapon workbench. I can't craft any of this. You have 620. I need three adhesives. Can I buy adhesives here, maybe? I think I could buy adhesives here. Hey. Outlaws, Ashta, you seem all right. Ah, it doesn't look like it. 4,500. Uh, I'm going to take a bunch of your ammo. You're selling these weapons, but you ain't buying them for that much, I feel. Rivet? I don't even know where I got this weapon. Peacekeeper. Base Adept Pacifier. We can sell the Head Ranger. We're not going to use that anymore. And I'll sell this as well. I don't think I'm going to be using that. Where can I buy crafting materials? Genuine question. I need to make some damn weapon mods. I don't have any neon. What? First fire. Ew. Semi-automatic. Oh, I can't upgrade that. What up, Shakes? Much love to Spooky's chat. I love Spooky. Spooky's a good egg. I hope you enjoy the emotes. They are the highest of quality. From hello to Spooky. I am loving Starfield, though. You have a nice day now. Loving it. kinds in here rangers traders suit. Locals, tourists they all come to me for supplies
Ballistic shielding. Ooh. Let's install the ballistic shielding mod. Everyone needs supplies. Suppose that's a good thing. Can't really build anything else. Could get this one. Increases melee damage. Take a look around. It's a good bet I've got something you need. I'm not really good at the crafting stuff because I don't got the resources. I want to do your business quick. Take a gander. You have for sale. Oh, you have a little bit of everything. Can I buy all? Can I buy all of these? I'm gonna buy all of these. And then I'll store them all in my ship. I'm gonna be very over encumbered. But then we can start crafting like crazy. Give me it all. My ship might not even be able to hold all these. We are going big with the crafting. I need to buy this stuff more often. The question is, why have enough money for all these? Okay, my mass is 983 out of 160. Yo, Shakes, thanks for paying it forward and gifting a sub to Llama. Llama's a good egg in this chat. We love Llama. Thank you for gifting a sub and supporting. Very much means a lot. I like a lot of these spacesuits, to be honest. Okay. Thank you, Shakes. Shake, 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 good. Shake, 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 good. Hmm. All right, so I only have 947 mass. I don't even remember what that command is. All right, let's get to this crafting station now. Hopefully I can craft a little bit more weapon mods. Still don't have any damn neon. Muzzle, okay, I can craft anything in the muzzle. Uh, increases long range accuracy and stability. Let's get the muzzle break. Mailstorm internal has increases damage done. We'll get high powered increased on this. Oh, I don't have internal mods three up. Damn, I have the stuff, but I don't have the. I have the stuff, but I don't have the stuff. You know what I mean? Advanced AA. Can I get this? Oh. How do I not have freaking neon?
Eon. I gotta be able to get something with this, right? Man, not having Eon is killing me. I need to install something. Now my weapon engineering is a little bit higher. That's what I need. Laser sight. I don't have neon. How do I not have neon? Infernal mods level one. I think the infernal mods are... Alright. Now we have to get to my ship. I can't fast travel to my ship. This should be exhilarating. This is gonna be rough. I get over encumbered so damn fast. Ever wonder how the crimson <sighs> Look how fast I have nine hundred I maybe I shouldn't have bought all of those resources. But I feel like it was a necessity to get all of those resources. You know what I mean? No. People that crafting people would understand. No. It was it was a necessity to get them. Trust me. bad thing is, my ship is very far away. We're a little over encumbered. I shouldn't have bought out every single supply. But I needed to. Under control. Shut up, Lynn. <sighs> Break time. Why did I think it was a good idea to buy everything? Why did I think it was a good idea to buy everything that ship had to offer? Slow. We're getting there. I can see the ship from here. And we have a we have a research station on the ship so we can craft some resource recipes up and we'll be good to go. It's a good thing I have this superpower as well. This power has definitely uh, been very useful. The only reason why I'm making it this far. <laughs> Okay, the thing I saw wasn't my ship, it was a rock. There's my ship. That's the ship I built. My day, my day's been great, Allah. I woke up at six, 
I start I'm editing a video right now the patreon in the YouTube uh, the patreon channel on discord if you're a patreon sub you can see that I yeah I didn't work out yet but it's still early and now I'm playing Starfield and I built this ship right here look at how beautiful my ship is I built this all by myself with the help of Usidian and Twitch chat Hey, if you're a Patreon sub, you get to see the first two minutes of my next YouTube video. This is my ship. I built this. We're almost there. that research station at hey you need something wait where's my research station my inventory all right I've stored some stuff This is my crew! Do I not have a research station? Hey, how are you? Oh, here it is, thank god. I need to get this up. Got that. Okay, we got that one up. Uh, optic and lasers. We can take this. Optic and laser mods two. We have eighty-five zero wire. Thank God. Finish this up. Aluminum. I know I have plenty of that. Adhesives. I only have two adhesives. I bought all of them. I'm still missing some. Ugh. I need to get this. What do I need for this? Weapon engineer needs to be ranked two. So I need to get my weapon engineering up. How's this doing? Confirm. I don't think I have any cosmetics. Oh no, I have 18. I bought them all. Okay. Pack mods. Pack mods. Level 2 is now available. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, helmet mods 2. School starts tomorrow, so there'll be children everywhere. Isn't that the opposite? Aren't children going to be gone? Because school starting? Oh, I need adhesives. Let me get drilling. Ready? Up. Hi! Sleep, I salute. Sleep, I salute. Meandria. Sleep, I love. Sleep, I love. Happy Monday, everyone. Meandria, thanks for the tier one for 17 months. It is very much appreciated. Happy Monday. I hope you are doing fantastic. Thank you for the continued support. Let's go. You're just in time for me to do all this. I got most of my stuff done that I can do. Now we'll see how much storage my spaceship has. Got more. Inventory. 
resources. Store all. My mass is still about 500 over. <laughs> oh no. On the first day, school ends early and they'll spread. They have like a disease, eh? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to trade our home ship in for the one that has more cargo space. But that's fine. We can trade our ship in for one that has more cargo space. So we should probably go to New Atlantis. Also, what's up, Waffles? Nightmare fuel? My hairline? Thank you. Thank you! It's going back to school would mean less viewers on Twitch. But in my case, it means nothing. the hell is where I need Alpha Sensory. Olympus. And they'll talk about stuff like what teachers they got and complain about having to go to school and all that crap and talk like an idiots and I can't stand hearing them talk. That sounds like kids. Where is... I'm not trying to do this mission. I want to get the UC done next, but I just want to go to the lodge. I want to go to the lodge so I can trade my ship out, transfer all my stuff to my ship. I don't think I'm going to have any ship battles for a hot minute while I'm not in the Crimson Fleet. I wanted to craft a few more mods for my guns now that I got some stuff upgraded. Where's the map? Which one of these is the space district? I also want to check out that new ship we have. I think I have five ships now. Holy bollocks, I have a lot of ships. I spent a lot of time here when I was younger. It's a very different city now. Spaceport. People talk. Ugh. Ugh. Maybe I just add more 
cargo to my ship, actually. Do I switch the ships out, or do I just add more cargo to mine? Here's the beautiful ship I made. Need to talk to you. Anything I can help you with? Okay, no problem. I have five ships. The one I just got was the... What the fuck is this ship? What the hell is this ship? Is this the ship they gave me? No, they gave me this one. Which is an A-ranked ship. Bro, it's not bad, but... Cargo capacity is 2,500, actually. This cargo capacity is 3,905. Oh, this is the ship that I got from, uh, Walter. The mission we did with Walter gave us this ship. Is that the one that we got from Walter? Yeah, Walter. And then we got this one from Freestar Collective. Honestly, isn't that bad? It just has really low shield. Let me see if I can build another cargo hold. Add. Cargo. Ship has too few landing gears. Maybe I could put the cargo hold up here. That's definitely not where it's supposed to go. What's the error still? How do I have too few landing gears? I shouldn't have too few landing gears. That's the thing. I shouldn't have too few.
Oh, probably because it, it's heavier now. So I need to add another landing gear because it gets heavier. Maybe. Looks a little odd, but... Okay. So we added more cargo. Uh, except... Now I need to get on... Wait, I think I can transfer stuff from here. Cargo hold. Inventory. Yes! There we go. No, no, no. I don't want to take any of it. Resources. Store all. Boom, baby! How about them fucking apples, huh? Now let's go to the lodge and start crafting some stuff. There we go. Can I manage my crew from here as well? Crew. Lynn. You're on the ship. The Dorn fan, you're on the ship as well. Hello. You can return to your post now. Be smart. Don't Oh I don't know how much heavier the ship is now, but I'm happy with it. If you want to talk, make it quick. I think I'm late for Noelle's science lesson. I am. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. <gasps> I could use you on my crew, Vasco. I will proceed to my assigned post. <gasps> I can't put you, Heller. On a sign. Get out of here. You're on the ship, Vasco. Hi, Vasco. I need a I need a companion with me. I think you're getting the wrong idea here. Well, okay, fine. I'll go craft. I can't wait to head up to the eye again. All right. Let's see what we can craft. Let's see if we got some mods, if I can actually put on some mods now. I still don't have any damn neon. I need muzzle mods level 2. Muzzle mods level 1. I think I have muzzle mods level 1. Just missing something. I want to keep going. Uh, the mail storm. I have no adhesives. Damn. I do have 77 zero wire. I think I'm just missing the adhesives on this one. Do I need to go buy out another shop? Of all their resources? What even is down here? Sleep down? Why can't I sleep down here? I can find my way here a lot faster than the other one. Ooh. 
Let's lock this and see what we get. Let's steal from Constellation. Wait, is this stealing? It's not stealing if we open it, so uh, let's open it. It's not stealing if you're wearing a hat. All right, this one's only good here, so here. And we have these two. All right, then we got three. This is only good on the second one. This is only good on the last one, last one. There's only two on this. Hey. Oh, I failed. Sleep well, la 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 la. Thanks for hanging out. Sleep well, sleep well. Wait, I didn't fail. So I got one more up my sleeve. One more trick up my sleeve, you know? Those two. Sleep well, sleep well, sleep well. Whoa, the Mark I spacesuit worth 35,000? Holy shit. Oh, but this one makes my weapons weigh so much less. So I kind of want to not wear this. Because this makes my weapons so much less, but this has good corrosive and thermal. The lockpick mechanic is pretty fun. I will say that. I, I like doing the lockpicks. It's grown on me. Zero zero forty five ten. This one gives me plus twenty carry capacity. Whatever. I didn't really do as much crafting as I hoped to do. This is booted up to my ship. It has to be. Why the hell would I put a standard barrel on it? Oh, I need adhesives. I need neon as well. Muzzle Moz needs to get up to level two. I need a lot of things, it seems, still for crafting, but I'm getting the crafting down. Oh, wait, I have all this stuff right here. I forgot I put stuff right in there. Good job, past me. where I saw helium in there, but whatever. Research lab.
Tungsten. I do have that for once. Sealant. I do have that. Lube. Just enough lube. Manufacturing level two has been upgraded. Uh, muzzle mods too. I can't do muzzle mods too. I don't think I have all the stuff needed, but... Do I have a skill tree of... Oh, I don't even have a skill point available. Oh, I can do this, though, once I get a point. Okay, so once I get a point, I should put some uh, research into the muzzle mods. And then we'll put some stuff back in our ship. Can I, like, take somebody here? I need someone to come with me. Who are you? No, I can't take you as a partner. Who are you? You're Walter. I can't take you as a partner either. Hey, let me know when you're ready to take me along with you. Should only be a few years. <laughs> and this place always has material for me. I need to find someone I can take with me. Uh, uh. Oh, that's my jumper. That's my locker room. No, no. What mission's going on? We're gonna do the, uh, we're gonna start United Colonies and get that faction set done. I was just doing a lot of resource gathering and buying and transferring. Hey, oh, never mind, we're doing this Sam as well. We're just having a uh, discussion, and I wanted someone else's. I'm trying to find someone to I take on my team. I say that you and I have now both been cornered, but sure. I'd like to, you know, get in shape, do some working out. So I asked Vladimir for some tips, and he basically said weightlifting was a bad idea. Are you sure that's what he said, or is it just what you heard? Anyway, so I wanted to get Sam's opinion on it, and he pretty much said the same thing. Okay, since now you've been fully roped into this, let's all just take a step back. What do I have simply to pointed for? out that if you take a look at Mateo, weightlifting isn't necessarily the first thing that comes to mind. I was wondering whether there might be a better option for him, and just sort of musing in general about the idea of sticking to things you're inclined to, versus going out and trying something completely new. Help Mateo out, right? You think it's better to stick to what you know or to take any opportunity to try something that's maybe outside your comfort zone? Weightlifting is no joke. You have to be careful. You could hurt yourself. You never get anywhere if you don't take risk. Well, there you have it. That's what I've been saying. Anyway, thanks. I think I'm going to try it. And don't worry, I'll be sure and ask Vladimir for pointers. Don't ask me. Hey, we'll support you no matter what. Just don't want to see you get hurt. Where is yeah. Sarah Morgan or Andreas? Sounds like Vladimir could use our help on the station. Maybe they're on the station. Guess I'll take Sam. We heading to the eye? Sounds like Vladimir could use our help on the nope, station. I'm not taking Sam. Ah. Fine, we'll go to the stupid station. We'll go to the eye just so I can get someone to, someone to be on my freaking team. All right, now let's get back to the ship. I upgraded my ship's cargo hold as well, but then I had to add another landing gear. And to make it look even, I added two, I added another landing gear. I added one extra landing gear because my ship wasn't able to handle one more cargo hold. Another day? I guess I'll go to the station.
The good thing is I can easily... Can I put stuff in my ship yet? Cargo hold. My inventory. Resources. Uh, store all. There we go. One character needs to be maxed out. Are you trying to max out one of the characters, like, friendship-wise? Oh, the main character, all the skills. Yeah, there's a lot of levels in this game. I don't even think it's possible to get them all. Still go 250. There is an easy way to get a lot of XP from uh, outposting and whatnot. But I haven't watched that video on how to get easy XP from farming out, posting, and resourcing and all that. Alright, let's board. Maybe I have to do this mission. Greetings, Captain. Check in on everyone. Alright, let's check in on everyone. Setting up some software. Want to test the computer over there? Success. Now that is some fine team. Hey. Hey, you mind helping me weld up some of these panels? Ah, uh, Miss coming up here. You should visit Vlad more often. Yes, pay attention. Just pick up the welder. Nothing to it. <sighs> That's it. Dave the Diver had us actually go and do that. If you, some of these seem to be a mixture of adapters from older tech. I think we are done. Thank you again. Oh, that's not where you are. Dave the Diver spoiled me. You color the wrong wires. Station showing red. Everyone just walked off. <laughs> Everyone was tired. Nastier than I measured. Figured a few of the parts might be iffy, but this is going to take more than a span. Oh, I should have checked the compatibility when we made the order. I can stay with you until we get all this fixed. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the swords, need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. That was the entire mission? That was the entire mission? That was easy. Don't want to worry anyone, but we got more competition. Not Starborn, rival collector. Captain Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow. Runs it like a palace of novelties. And he's got a new prize in his collection. Guess he won't hand it over Let's easy. I'll my hand to hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. I think we're gonna need a crowbar and bag for this one. Left the life of a jack of ones behind myself. I know what I'm asking. But I see a clutch prize not up for the prime any other way. All right, I'll do what I, I have to. Lone hook on the job. I want Barrett with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way, so make sure you're ready. I'm ready. We'll head out Catch now. A smile out there. There's All right. Something I need to talk to you about. We'll be. I'll assist Vladimir for now. I'll assist Vladimir. We'll be busy fixing hey, up the iPhone. Uh... Okay, so now I need to use Barrett, but Barrett, you can just work with us, I guess. All right, Barrett, we're going to go ask about Pervicle at the Trade Authority, so let's set the course and do that. 
We're going to Mars. I still need to set up like an iron depot on Mars. Ma Mars. Don't know how to do that. But let's get, let's start the trade authority now. Let's start the trade, or not the trade authority. Let's start the United Colonies and then we'll do the Crimson Fleet last. To Sidonia we go. I want to get at least all the factions done in this playthrough. Get as much stuff done as possible. Me and Barrett can become besties, I guess. I respect I know now is the best time, but I need to talk to you later. You need to talk with talk me? Talk to me. I have to talk about the Starborn. Do you have a second? You do, right? I want to talk about right. it too. How could we not talk about it for the rest of our lives? It could be the dawn of a new era of humanity. Or it could be an elaborate prank or any number of mundane explanations. Definitely aliens. Well, they were definitely unusual, but aliens seem so many... I just oh, have whoops. so many questions. We just need more data. There has to be a way to draw them out and figure out where they're coming from. We know they wanted the artifact. That has to be so significant. One of facts about them. It seemed very important to them, too. This could be a turning point for humanity, you know? Or it could be just the emergence of a powerful new faction or some sort of elite military tech or a gazillionaire with nothing else to do. All we know is that they wanted that artifact badly. Agreed. That is going to require more observations, more encounters with them. And who knows? Maybe we'll never see them again. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. We just chatted. Lay it on me. Right. Later. He said, when you're not busy, let's chat. I chat him up. He says, what do you want? And I said, I don't know. You tell me what do I want. Come on, Sidonia, open up. I'm a liar. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. I'm a saint. Gearbox, the U.S. game company behind the Borderlands series, is reportedly up for sale. Anybody want to go three? Anybody want to go halfsies on buying Gearbox? You know, guys, just know I'm a streamer billionaire. Anybody want to go halfsies and buy Gearbox software? It'll probably only cost a few billion dollars. Come back anytime. Actually, we got lots of stuff. Just that. Cool. I'll buy all your resources. Digis? No digis. That's as well. That's weird. Gearbox is for sure. I thought they were doing pretty good. They even no, have like their own publishing thing. Gearbox publishing. I think they published Have a Nice Death. And eyes in the dark. Invoices can be collected from the. Oh, not here for a delivery, are you? I was told a man named Walker works Worked. here. Past tense. Doctor Walker hasn't been employed here for some time now. A shame too. We had such high hopes for Percival. I brought him on myself to do medical and biological consulting around the city. Not the sort of work the Trade Authority traditionally does. But we thought it had the potential to become a whole new type of revenue stream for our branch. I invested no small amount of personal capital into the endeavor. But then he decided to run off after a... discipline issue. I presume the miners have him hidden somewhere. Plenty of cracks on this old rock. But at this point, it's probably for the best. <clears throat> Pardon me. I can try and track that him down. Necessary. The trade authority isn't interested in employing someone so unreliable. But we would like the money he owes us. If you can convince him to pay his debts, we'd be most grateful. And you need fabulous interplanetary explorers to get this guy to pay his bills, huh? 
Gotcha. I'll see what I can do. Just tell me where he was no last seen. Got it. Wonderful. I suggest paying a visit to the Six Circle. What I suppose is technically a bar on the lowest level of the city. If anyone knows where Percival is, the miscreants there would. But I would urge caution. They're not a group known for their hospitality. Please, I've done a lot worse. Speak to the miners at the sixth circle. Okay. Found a clutch of heat leeches. Broken spears upstairs. Go drown yourself there. This bar is for devil's vets and their kin. Easy now, Vanguard heard you might know where Percival Walker Doc is. Walker? You're barking up the wrong. Andy, you. Why don't you come here and tell me what some Vanguard captain wants with Walker? My captain? Stray topsider wanders into my bar asking after a man like Percival Walker. Raises questions. What do you want with I I'm a member of everybody. Making a delivery for Hadrian Sinon. Book, yeah, I even have the proof send me. Hadrian? A woman named Hadrian sent you, a member of the Vanguard, to find Percival. Mm -hmm. mm. Now if that tag's a forgery, it's a damn good one. Alright, Captain. If you are who you say, Supra et Ultra. Vanguard motto. What's it mean? Should have gotten that during your oath. Uh oh. Over and above, above and beyond. Above and beyond, I think. Hmm, I see. And tell me, what grade was it you got on your entrance exam? A, C, D plus? The Vanguard entrance exam isn't graded like that. That is right. All right, Captain. Maybe you are who you People say. play this game and the website's... Look. Let Even me Google that for you, Scary. What exactly is this game? Dr. Walker, I'll explain in a second. Percival made himself scarce for a reason. His debt to the Trade Authority. But if someone resolved that debt, well, Percival wouldn't have to hide anymore. Can bet that person would make a friend out of Percival and the rest of us devils. And I'm always inclined to help a friend. I'll see if I can get rid of the dead. To hear. Now, you What's up, Disco? Opinion. The most straightforward way to take care of this debt would be to just saunter up to the authority and pay him direct, if you've got credits to throw away. Of course, rumor is the trade authority keeps all their records and collections files on a central server inside their storeroom. If someone was to break in there and adjust Percival's debt to something a little more reasonable, say, a few hundred credits, I'd be happy to cover the costs. Sure. We can help you commit a petty crime to secure your professional support. Why the hell not? But, uh, one friend of Hadrian's to another. Sidonia's full of old... Once they're done talking, I'll explain what this game is. Wouldn't be surprised if there was one that let out right into the authority storeroom. Say, with an entrance behind the bar at the Broken Spear. Ooh, and you might need these. Now, I see you fix get thanks. out there and help Dr. Walker. So! Hey, you may be Hadrian's friend. Come here. So this game is called Starfield. You join a group called Constellation and you look for artifacts that are scattered around the galaxy. That's the main story. You do the artifacts and they're scattered across. You run into some other alien type things. But this is a Bethesda game. So it's an RPG which has side quests and factions that you can join. And then all these factions have missions for you to do. And they can change how your companion likes you if you want to have a companion. Uh, there's a bunch of outpost crafting where you can survey planets, put outposts down, mine resources, all the crafting for weapons, and all of this stuff. 
there's of course a player skill tree so every time you level up you can use skill points and have your own player be like a physical guy a social guy combat science nerd tech guy or you know scatter them all over the place not many bugs in this game this game hasn't had any game breaking bugs more so funny bugs uh it's the least buggy bethesda game i've ever seen and it overall is just a fun time i am doing a lot of side quests these are all the missions that i can do right here these are all of them that i can do this is from a faction that i've already finished these are from factions that i've already finished uh and then these are all the missions that i've already done not many main story as well what's up okami did i beat the game no i have not heard you talking with lou so you're going to help dr walker I'm gonna try to oh good good uh, percival's a good guy listen i know how you can do it without having to resort to any b and e aqueous hematite mars is full of it people think it's just garbage but percival and i we've been working on some projects in the deep mines it's a very fun game in my opinion slaving away at his trade authority contract but we stumbled on a way to make it useful and profitable you give our research over to octai at the trade authority it should more than cover percival's debt that guy's always looking for an angle lots yeah, of content it does it would be uh there's just one issue we were never able to finish the research the spacers moved in and ran us out started setting up shop here comes the butt but if you can clear them out i can walk you through how to finish the research then you can give it over to the trade authority they'll get folks working in the deep mines again jobs come back i become a modern day folk hero <laughs> then i don't have to sleep on an inflated spacesuit anymore sure i'll help hey great, great so access to the deep mines can be found outside the city it's not far shouldn't even need to hop back in your ship we'd set up right near the main drill taking out the spacer leader should get the message across to the rest of them to buzz off once you've managed that phone up here on the comms panel and i can walk you through finishing the research kill the spacer leader in the deep mines i guess we have a lot of stuff we need to do for this goddamn mission If you have Xbox Game Pass, I think you might as well try this game out if you're curious because it's free on Game Pass. If you don't have Game Pass and you're a patient son of a gun, it'll probably go on sale come Black Friday. Be 20 bucks off. If you want to wait a year, if you're that patient, it'll probably be on sale like 50 plus percent off. But overall, I think it's a very fun time. Steam winter sale. So yeah, there's tons of sales that'll happen with Starfield. If you're patient. I've already surveyed Mars. Nine hundred meters away. I could just travel there probably. Ship. I'll run it. If I run it, then I can fast travel back here once I'm done. Nice not being over encumbered as well. It's nice being able to walk. leader in the deep mines I have a lot of good guns I feel like as well Can I just float forever no
But I will say, like I said earlier, expect Starfield to be done sooner than later. Like, we've played the game for 55 hours. Expect it to be done sooner than later. I'm probably going to try to get all the factions done and then just maybe do some other side quests, depending on how I'm feeling, and then probably finish the main story up. The factions we need to do is basically all of UC Vanguard and all of the Crimson Fleet. So I'm going to focus on UC Vanguard first, and then I'm going to do Crimson Fleet factions. Oh, we have a new sniper rifle, the Justifier, that has 1,200 bullets. Let's try it out. Oh, it is quite good. <laughs> Where did I get all this 50 caliber ammo? should be careful out of nowhere like we got one pirate who is like super easy to kill and then this guy's got a damn grenade launcher like a damn cat. Barrett, where are they? You know what, Barrett? I'm going to leave you to it. I'm going to go into the abandoned mines myself. I'll leave you to it, Barrett. You, you can do it. You can do it. The trade authority is on Aquila. Is the trade authority even on Aquila? I do not know where they are. I only know where they are on freaking New Atlantis. And then I go to Wolf to sell contraband items. But I'm gonna, next time I get contraband, I'm gonna try to sneak it by him, you know? You sneaky little man. We should absolutely expect to see more spaces in the mines. No doubt about it. Ooh, I'm about to level up again. Oh, I leveled up again. Your boy's level 33. All right. I know. I already know what I want to get up. I want to get weapon engineering up. I know is I like Aquila because I bought 900 resources from Aquila or 900 weight worth of resources from Aquila. That was fun moving that stuff around. That made me upgrade my inventory, so, so it was worth it. Oh, this is not the time for this.
gonna save the game so I don't lose any progress. Barrett I shot in the face by accident. My bad, Barrett. No offense, you kind of look like an enemy jumping up to me. Easy. Wait, Barrett, we have a lock we can pick up here, so let's do that. It's a master lock, so there's got to be something good behind it. This isn't even good on anything. Last one. All of them. None. All. First and third. 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 So if this one's first and third, I should probably use it. second one. Third one. one. Dude, I'm a master with these locks. I've gotten so much better at it. We got some Nuka-Cola spacesuit, spacesuit workbench. Ooh, I'll take that. Helmets. Guess I'll take it. A lot of locks in here we have to do. How many have I do have 16 digits, so I guess that's good. Last one, last one. First one. First and last. Okay. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. One, two, three, then... Oh, goodness gracious. Where is this going? Right here. That one goes right here. That means this one could go right. Oh, what do we got? A UC naval machete. A red trench. I'll take it just because it's so light. I could probably sell it if I remember to. Dude, another master one? Jesus. Why are there so many master locks? I'll try it, but... Uh, last one, all of them, of course, all of them, but this last one, last one, all of them, all of them, all of them, all third, last. Okay, this should be fun. This should be fun. Dude, 
do that. Third one. Three. Locks, uh, of course. Oh, well, I got a digi bag, and I got a pistol I could sell. Oh, let's see what's in there. All right, well, we picked there was three locks in here I had to do, so back to the mission on hand. I think we're going the right way. Wonder how good this Yon is. It has 1300 ammo. Looks like living quarters are up ahead. It's going to be packed with spacers. Mark my word. Hello, does I, the world famous woman enjoyer Alistair, I come with good titans to all? Hello, Alistair. Hope you're doing well. The title to give yourself. I might as well use my ammo. I got 1,200. I got 1,200. I got to use it somehow. Explosions. I do not know Pridwin. I will say though, I really like. Chill, chill. I really like the lock picking system in this game. At first, I didn't think I was gonna enjoy it that much. But the more I did it, I was like, okay, this is actually, it's kind of fun. Ooh, a gym. Oh, I gotta go to the gym. I should probably stop streaming soon and do that. I should probably stop streaming soon and take care of my body and move it around. But I could also, I could. Ooh, contraband. I could, hear me out. I could also play Starfield all day. That is the bravest man I've ever seen. All yours. Well, considering I'm doing all the work, yeah. <laughs> Butts and stuff. Hey, Dan. Save. Gotta gotta get good with the saving. You know what? Screw it. We can change our gun up for a little bit. Use my best gun for a hot minute. Your game's almost done downloading. Oh yeah, you started downloading this game. Well, I hope you enjoy it in two hours when you get to play. That last 10%. It is very, very fun. I will say, I'm not having any ammo... Tri I'm not really having any ammo problems into the game now. 50 hours into the game, I'm not really having any problems in terms of ammo. All my guns have a lot of ammo. And all my guns feel quite strong. Maybe it's because I'm level like 30. I don't know what's considered a high level in Bethesda games, but... When I played Fallout... I, I finished Fallout 4 at like level 33, so. Ah, okay then. <laughs> oh 
go this way. I also pick up literally everything of ammo that I see. Over there. Oh, I go this way. Uh, ammo does not have weight. Ammo, med packs, and I think that's it. I think ammo and med packs are the only thing that don't have weight. And maybe digis. Which is the stuff needed to um, open locks. That's the leader because they're doing a shit ton of damage to me. I'll say, like, the boss enemies that you fight, I feel like they do a ton of damage out of, like, nowhere. Use an emergency kit. Here somewhere. The Digimon Digital Monsters. Yep, the Digis. This game wouldn't be complete without the Digimons. I killed their leader. Why are they still firing at me? having 1100 bullets and a 50 caliber i don't know where i got 1100 bullets but i got 1100 bullets have you heard the bird is the word There's a lot of stuff here. Sorry, I was alone. Let me carry that. A good team works together. Three K V Z R. I want to use this because I just got a good gun for it. I have so much ammo on literally everything.
Ah! I do have a lot of resources, but I can't really get rid of those. There you go. Okay. Right. Excited to loot the whole ass galaxy. Well, get ready because you are going to be over encumbered all the time. Uh, let me favorite this bad boy and throw it up there. That seems like it'll be a good choice. Oh, safe. Let's see what the safe has. Another master lock. Uh, anything for the first one only? Definitely use this one. And this one. because you don't really need to carry so many weapons on you all the time, so I just like switching it up. All my favorite slots are filled, and they don't, I don't really change my favorite slots too often, but I do agree it is good to keep it fresh every once in a while. All right, I need to use this one here. There are some guns that I just will refuse to not let go of, you know? Some guns I need to be using because they're just that good. Perfect, perfect. Four, four, four. Oh, did I mess this up? messed it up. Fuck me. I'll leave this one. I don't, I don't feel like doing all that again. I do not feel like doing all that again right now. So we have to go back the way we came. We can do that easily over here, right? What if we leave a few things here and make a second trip? Dope-ass sniper that pretty much one-shots everything and allows me to apply heat vision on targets to see them through walls. What sniper do you got? Because I just got the, um... The justifier for finishing the last mission with, uh... A faction, and it's pretty good, but it ain't one shot and stuff. Contact Cambridge. All set? Good. Uh, you can take the elevator in that room back to the surface. There should be a key stashed in the thresh room if the spacers didn't make off with it. I'll be waiting at the surface. Alright. Purple rarity version of that sniper, or at least that visual model, the one you have, sounds like unique. 
Yeah, the one I have now kind of reminds me of one that I had for uh, doing another mission that was in Aquila City. What the hell are we doing up here? Up here, I have to do it. But it is quite nice. I do like that most snipers seem to apply heat vision as well, or the thermal vision that you get. Allowing you to see outlines of the bodies. What the hell is this elevator? I think there was an elevator in the back. Where? Oh, found it. Better than going all the way back. Heat mines employee exit. Let's fast travel. I still have my cutter favorited as well for some reason. Don't know why, but I think it's always good to have that cutter. Do I even need it? I don't even think I need the cutter favorited because I can just open up the goddamn survey and get it. I do. Be careful down near the mines and enter any I have a lot more oxygen, it feels like. Or maybe I just am not getting over encumbered. Ugh. Found a clutch of heat. You've got slate. Let me see. Reduce joint wear. Oh, increase lifting capacity. A dose of this stuff could make a miner way more efficient. This formula's gotta be worth at least as much as whatever Percival owes. Okay, so here's what you do. Tell Octai and the Trade Authority you found a business proposal that will make miners more efficient, higher yield, synergy, you know, all that business crap. And that you'll trade this is a long mission. Percival's debt. You good at doing pitches and stuff like that? I can give it a whirl. Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, and here, a copy of the formula for yourself, in case you ever wanna try maximizing your own industrial output. Oh, use that if you can. Good luck. Had an activity that said talk to Barrett. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. I've been meaning to thank you for helping me with the Crimson Fleet before. I could have handled it myself, of course, but it's good working with a team. Welcome, glad to help out a fellow Constellation it's to be member. Part of a team, isn't it? To be part of something so much bigger than any one of us. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. That's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. Glad to be part of a team. Just wait till we get matching shirts and start having official cookie days. Cookie days? I do like cookies. They're one of humanity's greatest achievements. Modern medicine, space travel, and cookies. Constellation is quite pro cookie because you see, we value human accomplishments. Speaking of which, your work with Constellation has been impressive, <laughs> truly impressive. Flirt, you've certainly made my time in Constellation very enjoyable. Should I be flirting with my man Barrett? I think I have done the Mantis mission. Is that the one where you kill the Terramorph? I've done a mission called Mantis. 
cheating on your wife? Just figured I'd mention it, since we haven't had much time to chat before. You know, being a member of Constellation has given me a Earth. lot of opportunities. And a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things. Met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him, I suppose. Who's Irvin? Irvin Madani was my husband. He was also a brilliant. Why did he dislike that? Joined Constellation a couple of years before me. I asked him who he was. He's gone now. <laughs> I, I remember his bright smiles when I returned from my trips. <laughs> wow, more brilliant than any star. It's not you, Captain. It's just been on my mind. I can't say why. Irvin's been gone for over 20 years. Strange how memories can pop up when you least expect it. I know that feeling. Oh, I've been giving myself nothing but space and time. <laughs> We're here years. for you, Barrett. We're your friend. Maybe it's time for me to really think about it. Well, maybe I'll take you up on that offer later on, Captain. I need some time to think about things. On that note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit. Did he say husband? Yes, he had a husband that he lost 20 years ago. We could have flirted with him, but we didn't. Can I do Mantis? Oh, I haven't done Mantis. I've had Mantis for the longest time and I haven't done it. I have to go to the secret. I think I was going to do it, but then I got sent back. Because they were like, you're not allowed here. And I'm like, okay, bye. Okay, goodbye. I'll have to do that mission then. Alright, let's go get this guy out of here. Long YouTube Let's Play, that's for sure. Not really. Thanks. Was there something else? I have a business proposal for you, a lucrative one. I'm never one to turn away an opportunity, but I'd be curious what you think you've uncovered in the Martian market that others have missed. So here's what we should do. We'll do faction, all the factions for United Colonies, Mantis, Crimson Fleet. A chem made from aqueous hematite, I call it pick me up. Aqueous hematite, iron and wastewater. Well, I'm not surprised no one has proposed something like this before. And exactly <clears throat> what does this new drug of yours do? Makes your miners more efficient. I've got the data here to prove it. Hmm. An interesting proposal, if your data pans out. But where's this hematite coming from? The active mines would be too expensive to retool. The deep mines could be an option, but they're full of spacers, or so I've heard. I already cleared them out. Won't cost you a credit to get started. Oh, no. That is intriguing. A completely untapped resource pool, and the sort of utility every mining firm in Sidonia would be clamoring to get their hands on. We could contract out all the actual lab work, bring on one of the Hungrier mining concerns for materials. The licensing fees alone. And think what it would do for our image with the general populace. This mine reopened thanks to the Martian Trade Authority. Very interesting indeed. And what do you want for the rights to this drug? I want you to clear Perversol's debt. That's it. Consider it wiped. Well, it seems we have a deal then. And here. A finder's fee from the authority. A perfectly reasonable amount for a discovery with this sort of potential. Wouldn't want you feeling shortchanged down the road. We'll just be taking that slate before you... 2400? I'll thoughts. take it. It was a pleasure doing business with you. 
Speak to Lou. Lube! Lube! Yeah. Took care of Percival's debt to the trade Didn't authority. Fine work. My end of the bargain then, I suppose. You'd have taken the credits up too nice. In the old Red Devils HQ. The place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit. But we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. I'm too nice. He's also going to warn you about spaces down there. But it sounds like you might have already tossed those drakes. Here, the passkey. <laughs> that bad does stretch. I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down. 500 more credits? Cool. Thanks. I travel closer to him, to be honest. This has been a long mission, man. A long mission. I can't even remember what the hell we're doing this for. Was it for the Terramorph? That we had to fight? We did have to fight a damn Terramorph. We did also kick that Terramorph's ass, so... I want to see what's up here. This is where I needed to go. I was gonna say, what the hell is that noise? You guys don't hear it, but I think Cat's back even. Jump. Ooh. This is encumbering me. Damn. Well, I'm still gonna take it. Might just be a little more annoying getting back to the ship is all. Screw the Nova Blast distributor. Screw the Nova Blast. We'll just get rid of it. So you must be the one who got me out of the red with the trade authority. Can't say I don't appreciate it. But I doubt you came all this way just to do me a favor. 
Now you want to explain to me why you're going around harassing the various old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts? I've got a tissue sample I need analyzed. Full tissue workup. Sample? You came all the way down here for that? Must be some damn important cells. You want to tell me what I'm about to be staring at? Terramorph cells from a world too young to have one. Fast-growing Terramorph. That is concerning. Who exactly told you to bring this to me? Adrian Sanon. She's... She gave you this? If she made you come all the way for this... Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. Thought that was Barrett? <laughs> I don't know where Barrett is. I did do some kind of big jumps, and I don't think he was able to make those jumps. Barrett, it does seem like a little bit older. Oh, there's Barrett. Gonna ask you to not touch anything. Got some projects in the works down here. I wasn't expecting guests. Oh, and Lou mentioned how you took care of the dead. Can't say I'm thrilled the Trade Authority got their mitts on the research. But I guess that's the price you pay not to live in a cave the rest of your days. All queued up. Let's gaze into this a bit, shall we? Wait, where are the markers? This, this can't be right. This sample, it's Londinian. I'll, I'll need from to London. Fresh. Adrian really gave you this sample. You're not lying to me, because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Sample's not faked. I collected it from the Terramorph yeah, myself. Humor, man, huh? This sample, it's got all the indicators of the worst Terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. Sounds familiar, yes. city wiped completely off the map by Terramorphs. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well... They look just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talzetti. This specimen, it grew there. Faster than any Terramorph should. Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human Terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not going to end well for you. Humanity has survived a lot, but this could be a bottleneck event for our species if we survive. And the devastation to society, to knowledge, it would reduce civilization to shambles. So you lug this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? Uh, what is there to take you and that announce to Hadrian? She should be waiting for us at the sixth the circle. circle. Could use a drink about now. Here, faster if we take the lift to the surface. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. All right. Let's get going. Let's go to the mall. Today. Oh, stretch. Get out of my way, Barrett. We'll fast travel to the sixth circle so we don't have to walk all the way over there.
So if you do a New Game Plus game, do you lose all your perks? Because I hear that New Game Plus, you keep your levels. Do you keep your perks with it? Oh shit, I hit the wrong damn floor. That gets explained through the story stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll find out. I hope I don't lose them. Percival. My God, look at you. You're an old man now. <laughs> you know, hassling yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. Lou said we could use the back. All right, let's talk. Was that Percival walking through there with you? Oh, oh glad to see he's still kicking. Once I was in a glacial cave surrounded by creepy red eyes, kind of like this. But it turns out they were just glowing bug butts. Lou gave me the abridged version of what went down. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. What is wrong with her eyes? Two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. Uh, a little more gunfire than I usually like on my delivery job, so nothing I couldn't manage. That's, well, that's certainly not what I was expecting you'd have to go through. But thank you. I'm just glad you both came through intact. So, were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian? That's... that's exactly what He's I was on the spice. Of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news. That's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that work up. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's going to take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Don't worry, I'm a ranger. Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti with both of us. Well, that's about the best news I've I can charm there. the higher ups. But before you commit, I want to make sure you know the whole story. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. We were military scientists, ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out, that was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we've done. I know who you are in your past well, that's none of my concern. Oh. Well, that, um... That means a lot. It's not something I'm exactly proud of. But it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off the ground. But the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the Colony War. Ah! Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the Cabinet to help us access that data, it'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. Let's go talk to this cabinet. Right. I'm going to go get this work up into the cabinet's hands. 
I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Oh no, we have to go to New Atlantis by frames. You two are gonna need it. Hello, Captain. Well, what a long level that was. Well, YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. That was a long level, but we did it.